Hi, I'm Mark, and I'm here with John. Welcome, how are you, John? I'm good, thanks. Good very stuff. Good. And you, John, are a roadie. That's right, many years. Which is a very, very interesting line of work. How many years, by the way? 20 plus. 20 plus, modest. So how many roadies does it normally take to put up like, I don't know, an average concert venue? I mean, are we talking well, 20 or? Well, um, if, if you're talking a small club, you can be talking five, six guys. You move on to the stadium. You're up, you're up to 300. 300 roadies. Wow. Well, I think the 360 tour for you too was literally 360 crew. What's the most famous band you've worked with uh, over the years? Well, I can say all of them. So it depends what you classify as being famous. Well, I, I mean, I've got a Rolling Stones t-shirt on have, here, and you I can't saw. get much bigger than that. Okay, John, uh, tell me, what's a good drink to get the party started? I don't know, Mark. I guess you're going to tell me, right? I am going to tell you. I'm yes. going to tell you exactly what we're going to do. We've got a great drink called Bloody Good. It's a take on Bloody Mary, and I think you're going to like it. Um, there's a bottle of Koskin Cordova vodka in the freezer. If you wouldn't mind grabbing that for me, oh, please. And uh, just a quick tip: most Bloody Marys, or in our case, Bloody Good, are used with ice. And today we're not using ice. We're going to use chilled vodka. It means that when the ice melts, it takes away the flavour. Thank you very much. In this case, the flavour is going to stay where it is. Okay. We'll start off with two good spoonfuls of salt. Cover the bottom, yep. Give it a really good base okay. of salt. And also good sprinkling of black pepper. Okay, next step is the lime. Just the lime juice, which is good. We'll do a little bit of a stir. Put in some sweet chili. Now the sweet chili just sort of compromises some of the other more all those stronger flavours, and just need a little bit of that. And we have we have Worcester sauce. Do <laughs> said you liked it. <laughs> yeah, I do. Tabasco, good amount depending what on what you like. When you're a roadie. You're a tough. You're a tough individual, aren't you? So we need to we need to provide some decent. Yeah, definitely. And then. This, uh, the, using the puree is a better alternative for the juices because it just has more flavour and when it actually mixes in with all the, the spices and all the other sweet and sour kind of yep. ingredients in there, it just provides a nicer taste when you drink it. Okay. Simple as that. I'm just put a bit more in there. Well, I'll tell you whether you're right, sir. So. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm putting out some big, big ones here, aren't I? So, yeah. so, let's just give it a good stir. Here's another tip, is to stir, stir, stir. And of course, never forgetting Costco and Cordova vodka, one shot. You don't need to put too much vodka in, you just need to have one sort of... Are you sure about that? If you put too much vodka in, it takes away the flavor. So yeah, just one. If you want to get, you know, okay. an enjoyable Fair drink. Comment. Fair comment, let's see. Look at that. So stirring is a big thing. You have to really mix the ingredients up. You've got to get all of the uh, juices. Is that because of the puree? It is, a little so, bit. And yeah. just because you've got a lot of salt, you've got a lot of pepper in there, you want to keep yeah. everything. And uh, you know, why would you make a drink this good and not mix it? I mean, yeah. it makes no sense. So you would do that. Why would a roadie wait so long for <laughs> such a drink? It must be good. Same reason. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, always nice to finish with. off at the end with a little bit of black pepper. And celery. bloody good isn't it? It's bloody good and that's what it is, bloody yeah. good. The, the most difficult 10 seconds of your uh, career as a roadie, what would you say? Not, not most, scariest moment. Scariest? Scariest moment has been um, coming down from the roof with a rope, forgetting that the rope was too short to reach the ground. Ah. Uh, so the game. last three meters I actually crashed to the ground it was quite humorous because there were three, four guys who hadn't seen me coming down the rope, so they actually thought that I'd fallen from the roof. Oh my goodness. I stood up and I walked away. <laughs> oh my God, that's an incredible story. John, tell me something. Um, what have you learned from being at so many gigs uh, about how, how to entertain people? Well, it's not my job to entertain people. That's the artist. That's his job. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> I just set it up and take it down. You just put the foundations in place, don't exactly. you, for happiness to happen. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Yeah, very good. Okay, John, been really nice talking to you. Thanks very much for coming in. Um, you enjoyed the drink? 
Yes, it was fantastic. You're going to share the recipe with some of your roadie friends, get them drinking something a little bit different when yes. they're out doing yeah. their good why, work. Why, why not? Okay, very good. It's a good twist on the Bloody Mary. Good to see you. Good to see you. Cheers. And uh, now for the 10 second drink. So you want to offer your friends a really nice drink, but you think you have nothing in the house. Start with ice and cost and cover vodka. You might have orange soda and berry soup in the fridge. Why not use it? And a twist of lime. Now you make it with Koskin Cordova Vodka. Find us on Facebook for more great tips.